you, thank you, Chair. Uh, Honourable Minister, the challenges of bulk infrastructure as well as the lack of integration across all three spheres of government affects most departments. The ACDP has, in this regard, raised these challenges with DTIC. Now, Minister, the ACDP has also long championed the principle of sweat equity when building human settlements, as this principle allows unskilled members of the community to develop an artisan skill in the process of assisting one's neighbor to build a house before building one's own house. Sweat equity is Ubuntu in practice. Will the minister employ this principle of sweat equity as a model for building human settlements? If yes, what percentage of developments will be allocated to sweat equity, sweat equity and by when? If no, why not? Thank you. Honorable Minister. Thank you very much, um, House Chair. Honorable Friend, let's start here. Bulk infrastructure can be done by inexperienced people because it's, it's work that is done by engineers. So this is the work, what we talk about when we talk about bulk infrastructure is the bringing of connection, for example, and let me just simplify it. When you want to connect sewer from a, a plant to houses into a community, when you want to connect water from dams into communities, when you want to connect electricity from the grid into, so you can take inexperienced people to do that. So that's why it's done by engineers, it's done by professionals. So that's the first thing. I think you are confusing things. Where we utilize artisans, for example, if bulk has been put and then you're connecting to the houses, there you can utilize artisans under supervision. And building of houses, yes, we utilize as well artisans. So the work is currently there. As part of our work in most of the areas, we do have learners that are trained. Some of them are coming through EPWP, you will see in provinces where the MECs as well would have young people graduating as we conclude to the project. So that work is already there. I'm not so sure about this sweat uh, program that you're talking about, but it could be just the utilization of different ways of what is already existing in the programs that we are running. Thank you. Thank you. 